Okay, I wanted to make this video for anybody that's got an F100 from the mid-60s, say like a 63 to like a 66, I think. Uh, I think they changed them over in 67, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is a 64 model. This is just a kind of a plain Jane F100. Um, this is one my granddad bought brand new. And the old time that I've owned it, I've owned it almost as long as he owned it. He owned it from uh, 64 when he bought it until I think he sold it to my stepdad in 1994. He had it about 30 years. I bought it a year later from my stepdad in 95. So I've had it for 26 years, almost as long as my granddad had it originally. But the whole time I've had it, it's had more modern tires on it. And that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, I wanted to show you what the, uh, I guess they're Chinese. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, but I wanted something to kind of look original on it. Um, in the case of these trucks, the, the drivetrains, the, the, the wheels sit in from the fenders quite a way, um, probably close to five inches, maybe on the front, not that far, but you can kind of see how far that fender is, you know, particularly at the top, but on the back also, you can see how far in that the wheel sits and you can really tell it um, when you go around the front of the truck, just how far in these wheels sit, uh, you know, when you're looking at it straight on or from behind too, um, you can really see how far in they, that they sit. Now the Chevrolets, I don't know if they were any different really from from the factory. I know I had a, a little bit newer Chevrolet, it was a 70 model, and the wheels were not stock wheels and they weren't stock tires, and it had a really aggressive, sporty stance to it. This is more of a work truck stance, but this is the stance it would have had, and these tires, these are the Power King. Um, they're, uh, they are a bias ply tire. They are the old school style of tire something very similar that would have come on it in size and in style. Um, more than likely when this truck was new and my granddad first bought it, it probably had four of something that looked a lot like this. I don't know the model name the, the, um, of, of this tire. I know it's a Power King brand, but I don't know what they call this, but it's just got the little squiggly treads on the front. And more than likely there would have been four of these plus a spare and they would have all looked something like that. Now, what my grandfather did and probably what some of your grandfathers might have done on the back to get extra traction, they would have put something like this. Now this is also a Power King brand, but it's called the extra traction model. Um, same size, it's a 15 by seven and that's as far as size wise, I think that's all it says on them, 15 by seven. I don't know exactly what the metric equivalent measurement to that is, but if you key that in and like Google or something, you'll find it. Um, I can tell you that these are about roughly 29 and a half inches tall from floor to here. And um, what was on it before was roughly 26 inches tall. So these, these are much taller tires. Now, these are very thin, skinny tires. You can kind of look here and see just how skinny that tire is. It's, it's a fairly skinny tire. But then again, that's what would have come on this truck. That's what they ran on these. And this is about the way this truck should sit. Um, this, this is probably very close to the ride height and everything that it would have originally come with. And it has been decades, literally, since it had anything close to original size tires on it. But if you kinda wanna know what your um, slick 60s Ford F100 is gonna look like with stock tires, and sometimes that's a little bit hard to ascertain because the wheels get changed out so much. I mean, I, I don't know how many of these I've seen with like the wagon wheel style steel wheels that are wider, you know, and they, you know, and they space them out to the sides a little more, uh, modernize them a little bit better. But if you want to go for the stock look, um, this is what you're going to have. And that's what I 
that's what I went with. Um, and honestly, I'm happy with it. It, it. it feels right. It looks right. It looks like it's supposed to look from, you know, from an originality perspective. Um, of course, some people would shudder and shriek at the idea of, you know, going back stock on these, but you know, everybody's different. But if this is your thing, this is what you're going to have if you put the Power Kings. Uh, I believe that Coker still makes a Firestone that's similar to these. Um, they're about twice the price. I think they're made in America, maybe. Um, but these were about $130. I got the four. I got the two grabbers on the back. I got the two street style on the front. And then I got a, I got a fifth one um, mounted on, you know, for my spare. And I don't know if this really shows, I don't know if this shows here. I don't think that, I don't think this shows the model number either. Let's see if it shows it on the other side. No, it just has the size basically on there and that's about it. But anyway, this, uh, this is what you're going to have basically, um, tall and skinny but correct it's a correct size um they look pretty good you know if you're in the, into the originality thing i need to get some um, new hubcaps because i don't know what happened to the original hubcaps from this truck that's the only thing i didn't get with it um i got some hubcaps that came off of a car my granddad had put on it so anyway um i want the original hubcaps um really this old truck is in pretty good shape um for its age it's, um, it was originally all white. Uh, some of you may know that uh, back in the 60s, they had a white called uh, Wimbledon white, and that's what it was. It was more of a, if you look there, you can kind of see the original color, almost like an off-white or a, a lace white, antique white, whatever you want to call it. And your wheels and your bumpers were a brilliant white um, because obviously they use those wheels and bumpers, the same ones on all the different colors. I decided I'm going to go, when I go to repaint this, I'm going to go with the Wimbledon white on top, and I'm going to go with what they called a Navajo beige on the bottom. Now, what you see here right now is just a primer. Um, and I was sort of, I sort of did that to sort of get an idea of what, you know, a two-tone would look like. And I think being that this is a long bed, I think a two-tone is the way to go. It sort of shortens the, the look a little bit. Um, gives it a little more drama, a little more contrast, whatever you want to call it. I'll be able to go back with those two colors. And, um, and then I'm going to, I've got all my trim. Most of it's in the front seat. Um, somewhere in the floorboard over there, I guess. Um, be able to keep my red interior. This truck back in the early eighties, uh, they gave it an Earl Shod paint job. I had new, uh, a couple of years ago, I had some new uh, floor pans welded in. So it's good to go there. I'd like to have new uh, pans in the bed put in, or I might wind up with a wood bed, I don't know yet. But for the most part, it's pretty much all original in here. Um, there was, you know, rusted out floor pans, and I took care of those. In the early 80s, my granddad had this truck painted, and when he did, my grandma, she, re she redid the uh, seat covers on the bottom. And I don't know, if they ordered this seat cover, it almost looks like they did because it's got that piping on it. But the seat back is original. In fact, it's got the original uh, uh, lightning bolt emblem on the inside. Um, basically zero options, <laughs> zero extra options, a three on the tree transmission. Um, but really it's, it's halfway clean in here, honestly. I uh, don't know about that headliner. It looks like some type of a, almost like a cardboard product or a, or a Mason Knight type product. I don't know. Original sun visor. Um, I had to have a new windshield put in it a few years ago. A duck hit me. But uh, it's got the California mirrors. Uh, the other California mirror is in a box. But anyway, um, yeah, this I had the engine redone, uh, completely rebuilt. Had to have some serious machine work done on it. It had a cylinder literally broken. But um, sorry for the shaky camera. I'm going to raise this hood, though, so I can show you. 
may as well while I'm doing the video, I guess. Some of you might want to see it, I guess. If I get the silly thing to come up. There it is. Sorry. But I got the engine uh, completely rebuilt. Um, I've got the breather off of it right now. I was having, sometimes when you don't start them for a little while, you have a little trouble getting them started. So um, the breather is, actually the breather's right over here. And um, I need to actually put it back on. But actually, I actually got this out and drove it around the building the other day anyway. And uh, that is pretty much, for the most part, I think what you're looking at right here is pretty much the original uh, uh, layout for the straight six. Let me see, I'm going to have to, this thing's got oil in it, so I'm going to have to be careful. But, anyway, I'll screw all this down later, but, uh oh what a disaster. I'm a disaster. That's okay. Never mind. Basically, this is the layout for the two. This was a 223 truck. We had to bore it 30 over to clear, to clean up the cylinder walls where the piston uh, had broken. But it starts right up and, and it'll, uh, it'll go. And it's got... I uh, had all the re brakes redone, all the all the brake cylinders redone and everything, and um, pretty much original, under, you know, everything. This is original engine. I spent extra money uh, to get, I could have gotten a replacement engine cheaper than I spent uh, to get this one reworked, but I wanted the original engine in it, so pretty much all original. Um, when I go to, you know, when I go to redo it completely, I'll be taking that engine back out and redoing the firewall and all that kind of stuff. But um, it's a plain Jane, and I've owned it for a long time, and um, just now getting around to the, uh, you know, to doing pretty some pretty basic things. But now that it's running and driving, that'll be a lot. It's sat in one place for like 18 years, you know, so. Um, you know, that says a lot right there. It just says that I didn't have the time or the money to mess with it. And it but at least I didn't sell it. You know, at least I kept it. So um, I wouldn't sell it for anything. I mean, it's it's become part of me, really. And I think of my grandfather every time I see it. And I, I, uh, I just wouldn't trade anything for it at this point. So there's probably a lot more collectible trucks out there, but this is, uh, this is mine. So anyway, um, this was mostly about the tires, just got them put on and, um, I'm pretty happy with them. They, they did what I wanted them to do for now. And, um, I don't know how well they're going to wear again. They're Chinese. They have the right look, but other than that, I, I can't really say, um, durability wise and all that, how they're going to do, but, uh, no more than I'll be driving this truck, you know, once to town every now and then or something. They'll probably last me a long time. They'll probably dry rot before they wear out. So anyway, there it is. Hope you enjoyed.